Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and this tutorial is part two of the tutorial in which I teach you how to set up Minecraft Forge to begin creating a mod. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go into our MCP tutorials folder that we um, created in the last episode and from here we're going to go down to source and then Minecraft and we're going to create a new folder called Assets. And inside of this folder, we're going to put our mod folder. Now, you need to name this um, the name of your mod, but make sure that it has no spaces and it's all lowercase. So we're going to call it Tutorial. Um, and you can call it whatever you want, so long as it follows those two rules. Now we're going to create a new folder inside of here, and I'm just going to call it Common. And this is where we're going to store the majority of our code. Um, so now we can go ahead and open up Eclipse. And what you're going to want to do um, if you're opening up Eclipse for the first time is go to Browse. And then we're going to go to your MCP tutorials, wherever it is. And then for or not Forge, um, Eclipse. And then you're going to hit Open and then just hit OK, and it'll load up Eclipse. Um, now, I already ignored this FTD uh, welcome screen thing. That won't appear for you. I have a plugin installed um, in Eclipse that allows me to program in JavaScript to create Flash applications. Um, but anyway, now if we go into Minecraft source in Eclipse, uh, you'll see we have assets.tutorial.common. Now one thing I like to do is I like to have line numbers um, in Eclipse that helps with debugging a lot. So we're going to go up to Eclipse, Preferences, and then go into General, Editors, Text Editors, and then Show Line Numbers. Hit Apply, and then OK. Um, now we can actually begin programming. So. I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to name this tutorial. You can name it whatever uh, your mod name is. And we're going to go ahead and hit finish. Um, by the way, if you do not know Java, I would recommend you go ahead and learn it. Um, there's a link to the New Boston's tutorials in this, um, in this description and the one in the previous video. His tutorials are very clear and concise so go ahead and watch those before you begin programming, uh, or modding, sorry, not programming. So now, uh, once we actually have our mod set up, there are two proxies that we have to put ahead of the mod. Uh, the proxies are basically metadata that Minecraft Forge uses to know uh, sort of what your mod is. So the first one is going to be at mod with a capital M. And in here, we're going to put mod ID equals, and we're going to say tutorial dot mod ID. Um, we're going to create that later. Comma name equals tutorial, comma version equals, and then whatever your version is. So 1.0 probably. And then we need to import mod or at mod and it's just going to give us an error on tutorial.modid because we haven't created it yet. So now we're going to have at network mod client side required equals true and server side required equals false. If you're creating a server mod, then you would probably reverse that or make them both true. Um, and then we're going to import network mod. Now, inside of our uh, class body, we're going to create public static final string mod ID, and we're going to call this um, tutorial. Or I cannot type today. Uh, tutorial. Now, this mod ID has to be unique um, in such a way that no other mod will be using it. Because if two mods have the same ID, oh wait, um, 
we're actually going to make that lowercase. If two mods have the same ID, then Minecraft is going to get them confused a little bit. Now, one other thing is that this um, right here, this tutorial, has to match the name of your mod um, folder. So it has to be lowercase with no spaces as well. Now this becomes more important later on when we start um, creating textures for our blocks and items and GUIs, but that's it for now. So now we're going to create a new method and that is at event handler and public void load fml initialization event event and go ahead and import event handler and fml, FML initialization event and that is actually it uh, for setting up our basic mod file. If we go ahead and run um, then it'll open up Minecraft 1.6 and you'll see we can go into mods and we have our tutorial mod right there. Now obviously we haven't added anything to it, um, that'll be for later tutorials, but that is it for um, this tutorial. Source code will be in the description as it always is. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.